Some of you may recognize this fabric. Well, I am going to share with you in this video what I made with it. All right, so today I will be sharing with you one sewing make, and it is McCall's 79.53, and I made Beauty, which is a jumpsuit, and I made it out of this rayon fabric, which has cherries all over it, which I purchased from eBay. Now, some of the features in this pattern, there is a belt on the side, the view that I made has a belt on the side. There are also tucks on the side where the belt is. There is a tuck in the front bodice, and then there is an overlay that goes over the right leg. Also, the armholes are finished with bias tape. Now, I made two changes to the garment, well, one change and one addition. So the change that I made was just that I did not hem the leg openings where the pattern recommended. I did a narrow hem, and the addition was that I just top stitched around the neckline so that the facing would stay in. So yeah, I just decided to just top stitch the facing down, and the pattern did not suggest doing that, but I thought I wanted to do that because I noticed that it was kind of flipping out. So those are the two things that I did different from the way the pattern suggests. So yes, I really love this jumpsuit and I'm going to share with you what it looks like on. just finished taking my clips of my jumpsuit which I really love it is such a beautiful day um, earlier this morning I woke up and my husband and I went bike riding It is such a beautiful day out here, you guys. The weather is so nice. I'm just having the best time out here riding. I love being outdoors. This is just so cool. I wish you guys were here with me. It was a lot of fun. We went on a trail that we had never been on before, so it was really nice because it was kind of like we were sightseeing at the same time. So that was cool. And there were a lot of people out, and so it was just nice to get out of the house and get some exercise at the same time. So it was really, really cool. And my husband, he likes to work out. I like to work out while doing something that I enjoy so it won't seem like I'm working out. So like I enjoy riding bikes, so I don't mind just jumping on the bike and riding around. And because my husband works out, he can take on hills and things that I don't. So like if we're coming up on a hill, I am quick to get off. I'll try the hill, but if I realize that I can't make it and I get too, too tired, I will get off and walk my bike in a hot minute. I don't mind, but he, he has some endurance and he can make it up those hills even though he may not be going fast but he'll get up and I like that so I'm gonna try to get better at going uphill sometimes when I'm riding a lot of times when I'm riding or we're riding together I'll be in the front so I'll be leading but then every now and then he'll take the lead and you know what I love is when he's in front of the of the trail, like he's riding, he's he's in front of me, and he looks back to see if I'm there. I'm like, oh, he's checking on me, but he might be just checking to see if I if I'm still alive, if I haven't passed out or something. But that would still mean he loves me, right? He's checking to see if I'm there, if I'm alive, if I'm making it. So yeah, anyway, I'm rambling, but I wanted to take a little breath and enjoy this park that I'm in 
because the weather is so, so nice. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. So my love share is how I actually apply interfacing. I like to apply my interfacing in all like one press. And I'll show you what I mean right here. Okay, so this is what I do when I want to apply interfacing. I cut out a piece of interfacing that is going to fit the piece, the pattern piece that needs to be interfaced. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. And then for the interfacing, I put the wrong side up. So this is the bumpy side is up. And then I take the, oh, I'm sorry, I don't do that. I put the wrong side of the fabric up. Yeah, please don't do it the way that I just said because you would gum up your iron. So I put the wrong side of the fabric up and then put the wrong side of the interfacing down on top of the garment piece. And then you just press it. And then that way the whole piece is interfaced and you don't have to try to fit a second piece of interfacing. You don't have to cut out a separate piece of interfacing and try to match it up. I mean, you can do that, but I find that this way works pretty well. Now, sometimes I do get a little piece of interfacing on the ironing board cover but it just comes right up it just peels up no problem and it doesn't gum up the ironing board or anything and then from this point what I will do is I will go over to my cutting mat and I usually cut around the garment piece on the correct side because it's easier to see it that way but yeah so I will take usually a rotary cutter and then just cut around the kind of like you're tracing i just cut the garment piece out and then that way it will all be together so i'm cutting away the interfacing so yeah that's how i do it and i love it i've been doing it like this for a while now and i really really like it hope that helps all right you guys so that is it i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video, I would love to know you can click on the little thumb that's sticking up below.